Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Stars and Sports. For a lot of people out there, Michael Jordan was the biggest sports star of the 1990s. This is because he led the Chicago Bulls to three championship wins from 1991 to 1993, retired from the NBA to play some minor league baseball, and then led the Chicago Bulls to another three championships from 96 to 98. Summed up, it's no wonder that a lot of people see him as the greatest basketball player of all time, which is something that comes with a huge amount of respect as shown by nicknames such as Air Jordan. With that said, it's interesting to note that Jordan seems to have a long, fair amount of business skill as well. Certainly, he came out of the NBA as a millionaire, seeing as how he made a total of $90 million over the course of his NBA career. However, that served as a springboard and nothing more than that, as shown by what Jordan has managed to make based on the reputation that he built up. For example, Jordan was famous enough that he wound up playing the lead character in the 1996 movie called Space Jam, which might have met with a mixed response from the critics, but was nonetheless such a huge success that it became the single most successful basketball movie ever. Furthermore, it's important to note that Jordan still makes tens of millions on Nike royalties on an annual basis because his shoes are still selling to a huge number of fans out there. Finally, Jordan actually became a billionaire in relatively recent times because he purchased Charlotte Bobcats for $175 million, which is relevant because he said franchise has seen a huge upswing to value to something along the lines of $750 million. As a result, it's safe to say that Jordan has a lot of money to spend in various lavish ways. For example, he has a private jet that has been painted Carolina blue. Furthermore, he has spent more than $12 million building a home in Florida, which was in addition to real estate properties elsewhere. Finally, Jordan owns a yacht called Mr. Terrible, which is, well, the exact opposite of what it sounds like. It includes a live bait tank and large rod lockers, which is perfect for Michael Jordan, who is actually an avid fisherman. But if anyone wants to get- What is there to know about Michael Jordan's yacht? Perhaps unsurprisingly, Mr. Terrible is one of the most luxurious yachts that can be found out there on the sea. In total, it measures 154 feet in length, which is enough by most ways of reckoning to make it count as a mega yacht. For those who are curious, mega yachts are essentially private yachts measuring 24 meters or more, which is big enough that they actually need a professional crew on board something that more or less restricts them to a very small group of potential clients, which in turn means that each example is very much one of a kind with nothing else that is exactly like it. Of course, mega yachts being mega yachts, this means that there is more to it than its length. For example, one of the reasons that for its construction and its use of fishing trips as shown by the facilities that can be found on board. Moreover, it's interesting to note that the Mr. Terrible actually comes with a fairly powerful underwater camera, meaning that Jordan and his guests can use it to gaze down at what's happening in the waters beneath them. The boat is big enough to comfortably fit 12 guests within seven cabins. Three of the five decks even have access via an elevator. On the owner's deck is the master suite, which was created like it. With that said, Mr. Terrible boasts other ways to support rest and relaxation as well. For example, there's a bar where people can sip their favorite beverages. Furthermore, there is an area for outdoor dining as well as an indoor dining room with an actual chandelier. On top of this, Mr. Terrible boasts a design that has drawn inspiration from Art Deco as well as tropical themes, as shown by the fact that it has incorporated tropical wood in its rails and walls, and as well as a staircase that has incorporated babinga, which is a particular kind of hardwood with a rich color that projects an almost palpable presence. Summed up, Jordan's Mr. Terrible is a remarkable demonstration of the yacht builder's art because he can afford to pay for the best. Something that stands as a visible reminder of how Jordan has managed to turn his basketball reputation into a net worth that makes him the third wealthiest person from the United States. That is black. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.